challenge is put out to deal the most amount of damage in a single hit in one hour from a fresh save. The community got right to theory crafting the best way to do this. Blowing up a mummy was quickly identified as a way of getting 999 damage, but doubt was cast as to whether you could get into the skull cabins in time. Challenge accepted. After seeing that you could play on a set game seed, and being commissioned by the Habu to find a stacked seed for his strategy, the game was on. My starting point was Robopossum's seeded vault run, which gets the desert unlocked in just under 22 minutes. Oh, it's not 22 as well, cool. Making some extra money would mean I could buy stone for staircases for a fast descent, getting me access to the skull cabins and my unsuspecting victims. I plan to abuse Calico Jack in the casino to fund this. Unfortunately, my attempts were either too slow or fell victim to bad RNG. Wow. Wow. However, I was convinced this could be done, so I kept at it. So here's how I killed a mummy in less than an hour. Spring involves planting 15 parsnips and sleeping. On the 27th, I collect forage for money in the spring forage bundle and open the community centre. The start to summer is delayed to the 5th to allow a rainbow shell to spawn on the beach. Then very specific spots are tilled on the farm. You will see why soon. After the wizard convinces me I can speak to forest spirits, I gather summer forage, complete the spring and summer forage bundles and use the rewards to finally start my farming empire of okay. melon, 10 melons, melon. one blueberry, Wait, one hot here. pepper, and one tomato. Blueberry, tomato, pepper, and then these last ones. After getting no rain to help me water the crops, I make a crop circle to obtain the a giant melon. Other ones now. If you didn't know, only the center crop to needs to be giant. fully grown and watered to get a giant crop. The surrounding 8 tiles can be at any stage, as long as they are the same crop. The location of a giant crop is set by the game seed and the day. These crops are immediately dumped in the shipping bin to give me some much needed G. The 21st is my first cart visit. The contents of the travelling cart is also set by the game seed and the day. I am after a battery pack, a common mushroom, and four okay, rear seeds. I want the battery pack, I want the common mushroom, and I want four rear seeds. Three more giant melons later, I have all the money I need I heading need into four. Another cart visit on the 26th nets me a solar essence, five beets, and five more rear seeds. On the 26th, the reason why I chose the mountain farm becomes clear. Mining XP. Level 1 mining unlocks cherry bombs which will blow up the rest of the quarry to get level 2 mining to unlock staircases. On to fall. The 9 rare seeds purchased over summer get planted and fertilised and not watered. Another reason to play on this seed is the visit of a fairy on full fifth, which will instantly grow all nine rear seeds. This might be the run. Harvesting the sweet gem berries on specific days ensures that all my crops are gold. Full 14th has the final cart visit to get the remaining five beets I need. After harvesting the final golden sweet gem berry on the 25th and fighting my way to get to the shipping bin. I have all the money needed to unlock the vault. Full forage is picked up on the 26th and bundles handed in to unlock and subsequently complete the vault in just over 
33 minutes. It's in my head. I'm unlocking the vault. It's right there and I'm going to go and spend my money. If I click the purchase button. Alright. I am liking the look of these splits. Fall 28th is a big day. I start by blowing up the quarry for mining level 2, making sure I keep a bomb for the mummy. Then, after handing in the battery pack, rainbow shell, beets and solar essence, I am ready to go gambling. Though can you really call this gambling? Every hand in the calico jack can be predicted <laughs> be over. by getting back to back to back to back to back to back to back double or nothing wins. I can accrue an obscene right, amount the, of Kui coins. coins done. You may be wondering how I get money out of Kui coins. The answer is farm warp totems. Stacks and stacks of farm warp you know totems. What? and an unnecessary top hat. The farm warp totems sell for 20g each. A full inventory sells for exactly the amount that I need. After using a warp totem and dumping the rest, we can finally sleep to the last day of the run. I have time for five quick mines floors while waiting out in the cold for Robin to open. Now we wait. Now I've got a hot chocolate. Once we get in, we buy out on stone to get a stack of staircases, ready to blitz the mines. After taking a pit stop to look even more dapper, yes, let's look good doing this, and to collect a weapon that can actually knock a mummy, I click the skull key and race to the desert with five minutes to go. And now, the mummy search begins. And we look good doing this. Here we go. Is there a mummy on this floor? Yeah. It's the first time that's happened. That, that's the second time that's happened. <laughs> Come on. Come on. I've got time, but I kind of want to get this mummy floor. Thank you very much. Thank you. Do not die. So, there you have it, it is Almost possible died. to kill a mummy within an hour of starting a new game. We did it! You just gotta break RNG to do it. We... we did it.